Assalamu alaikum. I am engineer Saifullah and you are watching Saifullah engineer at side YouTube channel. Dear student, today we will discuss how to calculate the area of an irregular shape. So watch the full video. And if you are a new visitor, so subscribe our YouTube channel along with the press a bell icon for notification of new videos. So let's move toward our video. So dear students, sometime we may need to know the area of any land or floor for various reasons such as a buying or selling of land or house construction. So dear students, in this video I will explain how to calculate the area of land or floor. So first of all we divide the land area or floor area in different geometrical shapes such as a rectangle triangles squares etc after that we have to calculate the area of any every shape and then sum the area of all shapes so let's start on this example so i think first of all we have to match such triangles here this is triangle number one okay dear and now I think this is the triangle number two now this is the triangle number three sorry so we have divided the land area in one two three four four triangles now we assume some dimension for this triangle so this is the base triangle number one so here the base one is equal to sorry i will use marker for highlight triangle number one so here the base one is equal to two meter let's suppose two meter and the height h is equal to 4 meter let's assume that now triangle number 2 triangle 2 so this is the base for this triangle which will is equal to 6 meter and height is equal to 5 meter and this is the another um, triangle number three so the base is equal to three meter and the height is equal to two meter this is a triangle number four so the base is equal to five meter and the height is equal to uh, 8 meter now you know what that the area of formula for a triangle is equal to area is equal to half of b multiplied by h mean base multiplied by height divided by 2 now we have to find the area of all triangle then we will find the sum of all areas of the these triangles so let's start triangle number one of uh, here is the value of base is two meter and the height is four meter so two ones are two and two ones are two so four ones are four so four meter square is the area of triangle number one now let's move to our triangle number two yes this is triangle number two so t2 is equal to so the half the value of base is six meter and the value of height is five meter now two ones are two two threes are six five threes are fifteen so 15 meter square is the area of triangle number 2 
now triangle number three half so triangle number three is this base value is three and height value is two so two ones are two and two ones are two so three ones are three three meter square is the value of triangle number three now triangle number four so half value of b is 5 and value of height is 8 meter so 2 ones are 2 and 2 fours are 8 so 4 fives are 20 20 meter square is the value of triangle number 4 so now area of this float area of float is equal to t1 plus t2 plus t3 plus t4 area i mean, mean that area of float or all float is equal to area of t1 area of t2 and area of t3 and area of t4 so now foot by footing the value area of t1 is equal to 4 meter square area of t2 is 15 meter square area of t3 is 3 meter square and area of t4 is equal to 20 meter square so now we will find the sum of these values so 4 and 15 is equal to 19 19 and 3 is equal to 22 and 22 and 20 is equal to 42 22 and 20 is equal to 42 so 42 meter square is the area of this whole float so here we have find the way area of all float by dividing the whole float in different shapes See, sorry here are all shapes are triangles so we have divided this plot in triangles triangle number one triangle number two triangle number three and triangle number four and then we have find the value areas of every triangle here and then we have find the sum of all areas of all triangle which is equal to the area of whole float so here i will discuss with you another shape this is the second shape now we will find the value of the shape so here this is the first side which is equal to um, six meter and this is the another side which is equal to uh, 10 meter now as you know that this shapes is similar to trapezoid and the area formula for trapezoid is equal to a is equal to half of a plus b multiplied by height okay friends so now here this is the a and b now we have find to height of this so the height is of this float r line is equal to mm, 12 meter now by putting these value in this numerical formula we will find the area of this shape so let's start half value of a is 6 the value of b is 10 and the value of h is 12 now half 6 plus 10 is equal to 16 multiplied by 12 so 2 ones are 2 and 2 eights are 16 now we will multiply 8 with 12 which is equal to 96 meter square so area of this shape is equal to 96 meter square dear friends if you have other shapes or any problem in civil engineering so please put your comment in your in comment box and we will try to solve your all problems and you if and if you have learned from this video so please like our video and give your opinion in the video thank you for watching allah hafiz